Hey y'all, so today I'm going to do a review and some swatches with the Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. Now, if you don't know what these are, you've basically been living in a cave somewhere. Just saying. Um, so these lipsticks are so popular. Um, I did place two different orders. I feel like I've got probably the most popular shades right now. Um, I placed an order probably two or three months ago and got the first three, and then I just recently got two more. Now, I'm just going to be honest. When I received my first order, I was not too impressed. Um, and then they suckered me in with the last two that I got with their beautiful pictures on Instagram of these beautiful girls wearing these beautiful lipsticks. And I was like, oh, so I ordered two more and I'm actually quite pleased. So these kind of get a mixed review from me. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through each shade that I have lightest to darkest and go over what I like and what I don't like about each one of them. And then at the end of this video, I'm just going to do some lip swatches so you can see. I am wearing my favorite one, which is Underground. It's one of their newest, probably most popular right now. Um, and it's my favorite. This shade is not for everybody, but I'll get into that in a second. Okay, first things first. These lipsticks are $19 a piece. You can get them online. However, they always have coupon codes where usually you can get like two for 20 four for 40, um, all the coupon codes, really you can usually get them for about $10 a piece. So look out for those um, if you are interested in getting those. I am not lucky enough to have a coupon code like everyone else and their mama here on YouTube. Okay, okay so first things first, I'm gonna start out with the lightest shade and that is going to be Kimchi Doll. Now this is the packaging. I. I'm not big on the packaging. It is quite cheap. You know, it's the bullet style packaging gold, very plastic, kind of cheap plastic. Okay, so this is Kimchi Doll. This is one of the most recent ones that they came out with. And this one I actually love. I'm just going to swatch it here on my hand for you. It's very creamy, very pigmented. It's going to be your lightest peachy nude shade. It's very, very light even kind of light for me, and you'll see later when I do the swatches, but I do like this. It is creamy, pigmented. Overall, I'm impressed with this one, and this one is Kimchi Doll. Then we've got Buttercup. Y'all, this lipstick, this is one of the first ones I ordered. That's it there. <laughs> This is one of the ones that Jaclyn Hill kind of um, created. Well, not kind of. She did create this one with Gerard Cosmetics. And people went nuts over this lipstick. This is one of the ones that was in my first order. The first one I tried, the most excited to try. Y'all, I don't like this lipstick. It is, and you'll see when I apply it, it's very patchy, almost chalky looking. It settles into the fine lines. It's just not what I expected at all. And the color, the color that I see online and with the girls, you know, where they're, where their Instagram posts pictures of people wearing this. I don't know if it's my skin tone. It doesn't look the same to me. Could just be me. Just saying. Not impressed with this. I know. Shoot me now. Another one I'm not impressed with, <laughs> and people are probably going to crucify me for this, but this is 1995, another Jaclyn Hill lipstick. When this one came out, people went nuts about this one as well. It's supposed to be like that 90s grunge look. Y'all, I get more like, no. <laughs> no. This shade is horrible. Again, I don't know if it's my skin tone. Now, the formula on this one is good. Not like the um, buttercup, buttercream, whatever it is. Buttercup. The formula on this one is actually quite good. It's pigmented. It doesn't settle in. It is matte. But the color, again, not what I see online. It is more, instead of the like 1990s, I feel like it's age 90s lipstick. Like this is what great grandma should be wearing. It's mauve It's red. I hate it. Hate is a strong word, but I literally hate this lipstick. I have tried 
wearing it like kind of toning it down with a nude lipstick because online it looks more like a brownie nude shade. Yeah. Yeah. These two, no. Then on to what I have on now, which is underground. This shade is not for everyone. This is going to be your kind of grayish, um, I don't even know how you explain it. But you can see it there. It is pigmented, what I have on now. Like I said, it's not for everyone. It is kind of like that gray, dead look, but I like it. I like the formula. I like the pigmentation. I do like everything about this. Then last but not least is Cherry Cordial. And this is the darkest. Now this one is interesting. That's it there. This one is very interesting. You can wear this really sheer, kind of like a stain, or build it up. You can see kind of there where it's sheared out, or you can build it up towards like a darker lipstick. So there's the shades, Kimchi Doll, Buttercup, 1995, Underground, and Cherry Cordial. Now, out of all of these, the only two that I'm actually not impressed with is the 1995 and the Buttercup. Just the colors, just stay away from those. Sorry, but that's just my honest opinion. I know there are a lot of people that love them. Me personally, I do not. But these three, the Kimchi Doll, the Underground, and Cherry Cordial, two thumbs up for me. So, if you want to see swatches of these and how they apply, just keep watching. Have a good day.